Hi everyone, I'm Lily. I'm seven. Today, I'm going to read a story. The title of this story is Nick the Quick. Nick is so very quick. He always has to finish first. He, if he doesn't, he feels like he just might burst. In the morning, Nick races after the bus one day. One day, Nick had to wait. And he made a big fuss. Aww. Me, Nick said, I don't want to be late. Being last to the class is something I hate. At school, Nick rushes right through his work. I finished my test, he said with a smirk. At recess, Nick hurried to grab the chalk. He scribbled his name on the school sidewalk. In class, the teacher said, it's time to play with some toy. <coughs> Nick grabbed every single one before all the other boys. I'm first. Again, said a very satisfied Nick. I am first because I'm fast. I am first because I'm quick. At the end of the day, the teacher handed back the test. Nick started frown when he see he didn't do the test the best. In fact, when Nick looked at the other kids' test, he see that he done far worse than the rest. After school, Nick's friends came to him to talk. We are not very happy that you use all the chalk and snatch all the toy, said his other best friend. You always have to be perfect and that has to end. Nick started to pat and dash back home. He never took time to dawdle. He never liked to roll. When the day almost done, time for dinner. Next mom needs call. Don't run to the kitchen, she said, and be sure not to fall. Next stumble a bit, but make it to the table. Mommy said, choose your food nice and slowly. If you're able, Nick grabbed a slice of pizza, then he shoved in another. Slow down, Mommy said. The guy save some for your brother. Nick's little brother sit there in his high chair. He ate his pizza slowly, without a single care. But Nick is fat and so quick, he won't skip a bit. In a minute, Nick's belly starts to feel sick. Nick washes, wishes that maybe he didn't eat quite so quick. Mommy tells Nick, don't rush all the time. Not everything is all right. Sometimes slower is fine. From that day on, Nick slowed down in the place. He didn't hurt, hurt in every taste, taste he ate. He grinned. You were not mad when it was time for the toy. Believe it or not, Nick became a patient little boy. The end. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.